Okay, today we have two reviews, both from Verbatim, which I got in a give giveaway straight from Verbatim themselves. A 500 gigabyte USB 3.0 hard drive from their store and go range. It's a portable hard drive which needs no external power, such as you know, a, a, you know, such as plugging it straight into the wall which means you have to carry around all the cables and stuff like that, it's powered purely by USB it's like I say 500 gigabytes and USB 3.0 and 2.0 compatible so if you use it on a USB 3 device such as a PC or whatever or Mac with USB 3 you'll get very good speeds it comes with Nero as you can see, probably don't know if you can see on the back but it comes with Nero uh, software I think it says on the front here yeah backup and burn essentials by Nero but only for PC not Mac compatible and it also comes with green button software so you can uh, set settings for it so it go on standby and things like that and stop spinning the hard drive when it's not being used to save energy uh, let's open it up okay and as you can see let me there we go here's what you get in the packaging here I believe it's just a uh, USB cable see if you can see it yeah also what I notice here for this USB cable you only have one end for each uh, piece basically you plug one end into the device and one end into your computer uh, I've had a small 120 gigabyte hard drive that didn't need to be plugged into the mains and it had to have two ends into your computer taking up two USB ports to uh, get the extra power this you only have to have say if a laptop only has one USB port that's all you need whereas you couldn't use it if a device only had one USB port on another hard, the other hard drive so that's good that this only needs one end per end basically okay so let's see here here it is take it out of the packaging it is very very small in fact if we look at the side of the box see if you can see uh, you probably can't read that so I'll read it to you it is 121 millimeters tall by 15 millimeters thick so I, I don't know if you can really sort of it is very small and it is really light it uh, feels very light in the hand and barely really just a little teeny bit you know just to know you've got something there that's about it, it's extremely light let's uh, take all this horrible plastic off there you go of course being glossy you probably go get fingerprints on it quite easily but I quite like a glossy effect, it looks much cooler and an ink like that such as the Wii U uh, 3DS, Vita, whatever, they've got to get magnets, Nothing, uh, not a bad point. Yeah, um, it also comes with a little game, quick start guide uh, leaflet, and that's it for what's in the box. Um, I installed the uh, Windows software of Green Button on my brother's PC as I use a Mac and it was rendering animation for university at a time so I couldn't check if it had Mac version yet uh, I'll try to put that in the description but on Windows even after it was all installed uh, and any USB drivers or that sort of thing you know Windows does it uh, kept saying even if I unplugged it and replugged it in and that that uh, no compatible software is found for Green Button this could just be an issue on my brother's install Windows or whatever but it's something to bear in mind it costs about £75 RRP in the UK which isn't bad for a 500 gigabyte USB uh, hard drive which is very small and uses just one USB to power it so yeah I definitely recommend this USB uh, verbatim 500 gigabyte store and go hard drive
The other item here we have in this review is the verbatim version 3 USB drive store and go model. It's 16GB and uses USB 3.0 super speed. As you can see I've got it partly opened ready for this review as it's quite hard packaging to open. So let's have a look. This is this store and go model in black. There's a variety of colours. Normally about £11 in the UK. Here it is, very small, as you can probably tell from it being in my hand. Uh, as you can probably tell from it being in my hand. And it is, you slide, slide it, and out comes USB for travelling and to prevent it from getting damaged, things like that or bent. You then can slide it back to protect it, which is quite good because. I've got another USB which uh, it wasn't cheap and it um, but it uh, uses it's rubber which is quite good it feels nice in hand not this but the other one uh, but it also had a rubber cap so you could e uh, that it would easily uh, get misplaced and uh, also even if you didn't misplace it the rubber would bend at the join bit uh, at the end of the cap so it would sort of not quite go flat on completely whereas you don't really risk that with this so anything you risk is something going wrong with this little lever but I've never really heard any complaints about that on um, any other USBs that use this sort of method so that's quite good it is one of those type instead of having a cap that can get lost or ruined it's USB 3.0 compact backwards compatible with uh, 2.0 as well if you don't have a computer or a laptop or whatever with USB 3 you can still use it you just you won't get full USB 3.0 speeds unless it's in a device that is also USB 3 it's the 16 gigabyte black model I say comes in a variety of colors um, I definitely recommend this as it is verbatim which is a good make it's 16 gigabyte and USB 3.0 not 2 but 3 and like I say backwards compatible with 2 but the fact of the matter is it is also a 3 and they're always more expensive yet this it's very cheap for a 16 gigabyte uh, USB 3.0. So, so yeah, definitely I recommend picking one of these up.